Welcome and thank you for joining us for our third episode of Cardstock. We're here to bring you all the inside scoops on local fun, food, and entertainment. First up, let's take a look at some local places here in San Antonio. There's an artist in everyone. At least that's the motto at J. Philippus Art Studio. That's right, and I was able to unleash that inner artist recently. Let's check it out. There's never a dull moment at the J. Philippus Art Studio. Between the breaking of glass and the pouring of acrylics, it's easy to see how so many people can find creative inspiration in a place bursting with so much color. Opened in November of 2019, J. Philippus Studio offers a variety of classes, ranging from resin and glass creations to acrylic pours. The goal? To make sure everyone has an opportunity to create. And you can create whatever you want. We guide you through that step when you decide what class you want to do. And that's what makes it so unique. I have people tell me all the time, oh my gosh, when they're through, I never knew I could create something so beautiful. And you can't. It's in everybody. There's an artist in everyone. Jeannie, being an artist herself, first shared her passion for creation with her friends, inviting them to use her art supplies and showing them the ropes. After a while, however, she realized that she could share her passion further and open the studio. You might like this, but there's many different ways to make a heart. Just because it's one shape doesn't mean it can look different. While the classes offered at the studio provide some structure, it's ultimately up to the customers to develop the final piece as they see fit. I guess my favorite part is like definitely interacting with like the customers here because everybody can be really nice, really friend friendly, and it's really fun to really like, you know, kind of party with them almost as they do with art. I see a lot of different examples of like creativity and it's really fun to see like all the different ideas. So it's pretty nice to see that. Jeannie says it's all about letting go of what's happening outside the studio. When you're here, you only have to focus on having fun and letting your creative side show even if that means getting a little messy in the process. Arts and crafts are all about channeling your inner child. And what did I do when I was a child? Well, I'd break things. The whole experience can be new for some people, so it's refreshing to know there's no one right way to go about the process. It's different. I never thought of doing something like this. Um, and I, I find myself trying to find like puzzle pieces that don't exist. The best part was smashing the glass, to be honest with you. Even if we didn't, even if I could find all the pieces I needed, I would still smash glass just because. In addition to emphasizing the freeing nature of the artistic process, Jeannie wants people to know that art can be healing and serve as an emotional outlet as well. Her love of glass art is what carried her through one of the toughest seasons of her life. My first husband tragically passed away um, in my late 20s, and art began, began to be a therapy for me. And I always was fascinated with glass. And I lived on a farm, I grew up on a farm where they had the little glass insulators on the telephone poles. And I used to just smash them up and do things fun with them. But that was kind of my inspiration. Whatever the reason may be for someone to start the creative process, the J. Philippus Studio gives space for everyone to join in. I'm sure, I'm sure I will be coming back. <laughs> wow, I love how those pieces turned out. It's hard to believe that they weren't done by professional artists. I know, I can't wait to go back. I'm going to be the next Picasso. <laughs>